I, I sat through it um, five times. Parts of it were incredible fun and joyful and represented very accurately. The peak experience that, that I, you know, I hope everyone in the, here in the audience uh, you know, has felt at some point, or will feel at some point, uh, that was the best time, the best thing, the best, the best use of me. Um, the fulfillment of who I was at that time that I could imagine. And so, so that was good. And at the same time, you saw, you saw the pain and you saw the crash. Uh, John Scully uh, turned out to be a very sympathetic character, even though at the time he was an antagonist. Um, it took 15 years. It took me 15 years. You know, uh, Tony Fidel, much younger, much more resilient. Um, Megan Smith, much younger. So the second generation was able to pop out. And so, as I, yes, as I see the film, I absolutely see something different every single time, which amazes me, because I thought I had memorized it at this point. Um, and what I see is that, that it's an incredibly human story, if I can objectify myself out of it, which is not easy. But I think that everyone feels that, has felt that in their life. Everyone has felt uh, a tremendous sense of optimism and hope about something or other, or some person or other themselves or someone else, and, it, and it, it doesn't work. It crashes. And then I think everyone, human experience, uh, is on the floor shattered, and then has to do what? And, and that's the personal struggle and the personal journey that is a lifetime journey, because it could be more than once. It could be at some flows. So, it's a, so on a human level, it, for me, it was deeply touching, because, uh, because I, I I, I too Try felt, the other mic. I too felt the um, the same feelings that Andy Hertzfeld reported, you know, which is which is kind of we use very powerful words like shame and and, and so on. I felt all those. Um, I, I felt them when I was, as I was sitting in the back. Again, it's very hard to do. And I must say, even though I don't know you, you're all strangers. Uh, I knew that when Sarah asked me to make the film and Matt asked me to make the film it would be a journey that would ultimately locate itself in vulnerability and the courage to be vulnerable, which, uh, which is what Sarah actually gave me as a gift. She said, you have to do the film. I said, no fucking way I'm doing this film. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it took her, it took her a long time uh, to, uh, to, to get me over that. I think I did say, and you captured it, that, you know, finally, it, I, it was, my kids took a hit because of the divorce. And so I, this film, in a very selfish way, was a way of communicating with them, and I said that. But in a more <coughs> general way, there's a lot of pleasure and a lot of pain. There's a lot of ebbs and a lot of flows in everyone's lives. And to me, yeah, the technology story is amazing. <laughs> the fact that we did what we did, and. And those little tags at the end that you put in there, uh, uh, Matt, where they are now, what they've done now, and the fact that there was Tony Fidel and there was Andy Rubin, maybe even a little closer, and that, that as I said, is 97%, 98% was an exaggeration, 97% <laughs> of the world's smartphones, without which the internet would be nothing. Mm -hmm. And that was all happened in General Magic. That, so the technology story is incredible. But to me personally, the human story. Yeah is what's in the foreground. And, and, and there was, I, I think we're going to ditch the microphones because I think everybody yeah. can hear Did us. Did you hear the back? Yes. We can Thumbs hear up. it if we have to. I mean, you know, everybody clearly has had a very personal journey because what we didn't manage to see, you know, there are hours and hours of footage and, and probably Matt can tell us a bit more about editing. But there are, you know, from the point of, of the movie to the end point where we see what everybody's doing now and we only see what a few people are doing now, um, you know, there